Hey friends, it's Lisa back with a new process video. Uh, today I'm using my new Crocodile Multi-Hole Punch from We Are Memory Keepers. The assignment that I got was to use the Crocodile uh, making a, a card, like creating a card with it. And I immediately had an idea for that. I saw a rainbow card with some embroidery thread hanging from both of the sides and that's something you see very 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 often at the moment um instagram and stuff uh, but, but yeah, i wanted wanted to create a, a paper card um in in that style so to, to start i took five different papers from american crafts um, there are American Crafts papers, but also some from Basel, which is American Crafts also, so, so yeah. <laughs> um, I took papers that I really like, that are very summery and very Lisa like, and, and um, so I started from just a circle that I had had lying around, and I don't, don't I still don't have a cool tool to um, to create my circle girls. I have one at, at school. I always forget to take it back home. But yeah, I I, I need it at school too. So um, but uh, so I, I took a circle and draw my the uh, draw the second circle first, the, the yellow one, because that was the size that I wanted. Okay, I want some bigger ones, and I also want the smaller one. And then and from the, there, I just hand um, hand and drew my my arcs or, or arcs or, or bows or <laughs> um, yeah so and then I, I went always a size higher and, and I also did it smaller than the other one and I always took care to leave a little, little space between all of, all of those sizes to have a, some white showing through <clears throat> And I, I like like that, so I don't want all colors to touch. I wanted it so I to show through. So then I, when I had everything um, on, on my paper, I cut it out and then I traced um, with my, my pencil. I traced little dots uh, on where I want wanted my holes to go. go. Then I took, as you saw, my crocodile on the lowest thing, so it's the smallest hole you can pierce, and it's an, I think it's one of a sixteen into an inch. Um, and then I I just punched my hole, my holes. Um, then I took some embroidery thread, uh, match matching colors. I cut off some little strands and then and I just put them through the hole and did this I don't know what you call that this technique just to yeah um, pull your pull the the, um, the the little strands through the loop that you create in the in the front front you put to, to, you put a loop through the hole and then you pull the little, little strand through that i think everybody knows what i mean everybody knows how to do that so yeah then, then when all my little strands i uh, chose a tile tile and i first i started by um um like writing my my tile or my my scent and I wanted to stitch it, but it wasn't really working. I could see at the big beginning my stitching that wouldn't look as good as I wanted to. So I just, just thought, okay, I, I will use a, a I was I will use like words, um, finished words, words uh, thicker. So I went through my stickers, my, my from American Crafts and I chose this, this and I think it's a very old one from the Take Me Away collection from, from Page Apps. So then I put it on white paper and I cut around just to have, have this, um, th that just have the, the sentiment send out more and I, I create this little, little sign because I thought that the card needed something else. 
Um, as, you, as you can see, it's not really a card with a flap that you can open, but I yeah, I, I liked it like this, and um, you can always put a flap behind or just write, write sentiment like this. Anyway, um, yeah, I hope you like this. I hope it gave you some ideas to use your punch, um, and yeah, see, see you very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Have a very nice day, and yeah. Bye-bye. <laughs>